Hey guys, it's Jinx Summer coming at you from my computer, and this is my build of my Boho Parentals place. And I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted to build this apartment very suddenly out of nowhere, and this is what ended up happening. I love it, <laughs> to be honest. I haven't renovated one of these apartments in a really long time since about boy I want to say Thanksgiving last year yeah th around Thanksgiving of last year is when I probably uh, renovated this apartment the last time and it's super cool because I did it really differently than I did before this one is a little bit more fun it's a little bit smoother to be honest um, this one I like it a lot more and I really went out of my comfort zone with this one because I made and I used thing well I made I didn't make and make anything except the whole part you know I, I just furnished it that's all I didn't make anything but uh yeah so I didn't do anything wild or crazy but I did go out of my personal comfort zone where I like apartments to look really nice and really perfect and like something I would want to live in right now meanwhile this thing wouldn't want to live in it at all not even a little bit and I still think it looks okay I was a little I was on the fence about the wall coverings I guess if that makes sense but yeah that's how I was feeling about that I just didn't know what I really wanted to do and with this this apartment is so small, but I let my build take 10 minutes, so everything's a little bit slower. I feel like in a lot of my other builds, you can't really see what I'm doing because I speed it up so much. So I was like, okay, this one's small, so let me, you know, take it down a little bit, which I did. And it's cool because they have pretty tall walls for them to live in such a small apartment, but... I decided to make this couple and this whole apartment out of nowhere and as I was building I was like okay this is the kind of idea that I want for this and that's what ended up happening like this light thing I just wanted it this was before I really thought about who was gonna live in it I was like I just want lights in the apartment I don't know why but I just want lights and it just worked to be honest and it fits very perfectly with the family that I am you know made for this apartment because it's going to be my current household I think I don't know I'm I'm up in the air about it because I don't well I'm actually from the future I built this you know like what was it like two weeks ago and I didn't post it because I have been going through some crazy, crazy computer issues. So this is just me posting as much stuff as I can that I haven't been posting for the past two weeks because I was having computer issues and stuff with my drivers going on. And that was crazy, to be perfectly honest. I didn't know what the F I was doing. I never even had to update drivers or anything like that. As many times that as I had heard other simmers talking about it with their computers, I assumed it was because their computer was fancy. But no, updating drivers is something everyone should do. So it was, it was the me not using my game, my uh, game card all over again. I swear, I have an Nvidia, um, you know, video card, and I never used it at all. And now I just started using it probably in this past year, and it's so different playing my game now versus how it used to be. And don't get me wrong, I love it. It's awesome. However, I wish I would have known about this years ago. That way I wouldn't have been playing crap for so long, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> if that makes sense, you know? It's just It'd be nice to know stuff, you know, like two years before. You know, we're not going to get into that. But anyway, I've decided I really want to make my own computer. And... I feel like I go through these bouts of having different things that I want and stuff that I want to do out of absolutely nowhere 
And because I get so inspired watching someone else do it, and it's like, oh, I want to do that. And then it's always like some random do it yourself kind of stuff. And it's funny because I don't like do it yourself stuff majority of the time. But this kind of stuff, yeah, I want to do, you know, like making a wig. I, I made a wig. Um, you know, having a freaking digital camera. I, I, I have a digital camera. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, what else? Having my YouTube channel. I I was never going to have a YouTube channel, to be perfectly honest. I most definitely wasn't going to be about Sims, but, you know, that happened. And so now, um, I'm going to be building my own PC, which I really hope I have the time and energy to do, because, oh my god, it's going to take me so long till I actually start really getting all the components together because I'm debating on what I should buy first. I'm like, well, what do I buy first? I know, of course, I want the case first because I need some place to put all my crap that I'm going to be buying. And then also, I'm like, I kind of want to buy the monitors first because I can use the monitors now for, you know, my game. But... Meh, 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 meh. I kind of do, I kind of don't. So that's why I'm like, eh, I probably want to wait on the monitors because I might get bigger ones instead, just depending on how, you know, the cash flow is going later on in life. So me now was like, okay, let me just get the case because the case comes with like fans and everything like that. So I was like, yay, it has fans. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be building my own PC. I am super excited about it. If you have advice or you know someone who built their own PC and could give me advice, definitely comment. And I want to get an NVIDIA. Um, I'm leaning more towards Intel for certain components and definitely looking at going to Fry's. I don't know if Fry's. I really doubt Fry's is like a universal type thing, but you know, universal. Oh my god. <laughs> like other countries have Fry's, you know? I really doubt it. <laughs> I think it's just a US thing. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of components of my computer from Fry's, so I'm super excited about that. I don't want to build anything too crazy fancy. It's not my dream computer. But it's basically the building blocks for what can be. And it'll be able to run The Sims 4, The Sims 3, hopefully. You know, fingers crossed type of stuff. A lot smoother than what I'm running it on right now, which is a laptop, if you didn't know. And my laptop is literally on books because it gets so hot when I'm playing my game that it, it can't just be out and about. And I know laptops are supposed to be in your lap and whatnot and all that kind of stuff, but my lap and my thighs are already hot it don't need help I don't need that much warmth on my thighs or my chest to be perfectly honest because when I do play on my computer I tend to have it right on my chest or you know in my lap it just depends it really does anyway back to the build you guys I have a build up I haven't posted a build in like two weeks it feels like it's been a good two weeks. It's been rough, it's been hard, but I have powered through it and spent all of my time trying to fix this freaking computer because it was going nuts on me. But basically, I guess since I'm hitting the tail end of this, I'll tell you a little bit about the family. The creative sim will have most, mostly be about the family. Whereas this, I just kind of wanted to come and tell you guys, hey, this is what's going on because I feel like some people watch my builds, but most people watch the watch my creative sims. And I'm not going to lie, looking back at these sims, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Not even going to lie. I'm debating on whether I want to really post the creative sim. Since I already made the thumbnail, I'm like, eh, why not? Don't bother, you know? Because I'm just like, eh, it feels like it's not my style anymore. <laughs> like, it's so weird. I feel like my simming style changes every two to three every month i feel like it changes it. it's something different and i'm always adding little things here and there to my sims and all that kind of junk oh my god i spent this whole time not talking about the build i'm sorry if you wanted to hear me talk about how i pick things and all that kind of stuff and you know for the most part i tend to talk about the families that i want to be in the builds when i'm making my builds but you know i don't know 
the boho parentals are very very cute they make me so happy and their story is adorable because they their daughter isn't actually biologically their daughter but she is adopted and they're going through like the beginner processes process of having her just you know they're fostering her right now and they really want to adopt her so yeah they have yet to really talk to her about it but they've given her like you know her own room with a whole bunch of stuff and she loves violin hence why the violin is in a thumbnail and all that kind of stuff so yeah I mean these guys are freaking so sweet and they're such like humble people and they come from really as you can see a very not the greatest very small not the greatest you know not the most expensive, not the most fancy, but they come from a place of a lot of love. So that's all that they can really give to their daughter, you know? And that's what's up. Like, honestly, that's what it's all about. Um, you don't always need stuff. And that's kind of what I wanted to get out of making these guys. Because it was just like, you know, they, they, they have a ton of crap. Like, if you know me, I tend to be a clutter bug and I couldn't help myself it was so hard it was so hard <laughs> you guys you have no idea um not to clutter this place like crazy even though I feel like I kind of did but it was very tame in this place so tame because I didn't want to clutter everything to death because then they would have nowhere to move and I can't have that so yeah I thought this apartment was really cool. I thought it was really nice. Um, I'm happy with what I did with it. I love putting the lights everywhere. I loved making it. It was awesome. I had fun with this. Hopefully you guys will be there to catch me next time. We're about to go into the screenshots. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. If you're new, I will definitely have more stuff coming up. And yeah, bye.